making this video because freaking Andy and freaking Vlad already covered the new software and Max Solo covered this pedal weeks ago everyone's talking about it two notes has a million videos well, who needs my video nobody so you're watching uh, at your own risk or as Guillaume from two notes would say at your own le risque <laughs> There is absolutely no le avoiding speaking le French in this le video because it is, of course, a two notes product from le Frankreich. I drink le café. Did Leslie just say, oh boy? Did you say, oh boy? No. What did you say? Ah, she said Frankreich, and apparently that's a German. Frankreich. <laughs> it's a song. Okay, I, I don't. I don't know music. Frankreich, Frankreich. Frankreich, Frankreich. So, um, since the brand new Cab M, Le Cab, 
um, M, look up, M. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, there's no way to not do this. Um, is multifaceted, multi, and complex and can do so many things. There will be sunk the five videos of the Cab M. Video number one, we're going to deal with the Cab M with pedals in a pedal board situation. And we're going to look at all the features on the actual pedal without any software. Video number two, we're going to look at the software with the USB cable. <laughs> Video number three is going to be the iPad software, which is the same as video number two, but we're looking at an iPad. Video number four is, oh, the Cab M used with an amp, because yes, you can do that. Uh, going amp speaker out into Le Cab M and then into Le actual Cab. You can now convert any amplifier into a DI, the best DI out there. Video number cinq is going to be two Cab Amps because two Cab Amps are pretty much twice as good as one Cab M. We're going to look at stereo applications of this magical little white box. Skip to whatever video you want, but they're not all coming out today. They're coming out in Le Series. So, first of all, differences. Here is the cab. Many love it. Many have it. It is and has been for the longest time the solution to go to for high-end impulse response loaded cab simulation on your pedal board. Since this came out, other companies have followed. There's the radar from more, much cheaper, much tinier, tiny display, much not quite so good. It does a decent job, and I'm thinking for the price, it's nice, nice, it's nice price, but it's not a two note cap. We're talking about A to D and D to A and MyDai and all that stuff. Uh, Nux has one now, even Joyo has an impulse response loader. You know what? Apparently everyone can make an impulse response loader. Secondly, who makes software that is usable and understandable? And also who makes hardware that is on that level? Only the good folks from Tunes. So, this thing had two encoders, a push button, two stumpies, um, all quarter inch ins and outs, MIDI, only ran on 12 milliamps, uh, no, on 12 VDC, VDCs, 300 milliamps, but the VDCs uh, made it difficult for me when I was in China at the Shanghai show trying to use this with an amp to record, um, and we didn't have a 12 VDC uh, power supply. So, a little bit difficult. It is quite big, Leslie said yesterday, but also let's talk about this. Um, I'm 43. I'm sorry. I have no idea where I do this. I, I literally don't know. So back to this. It is quite big, which means on a pedal board, this eats up considerable space. And pedal board space is valuable. Hence, look up in. Look at this. It is actually half the size of the cap. So, yeah, this is more matte than this is. This is shinier than this. Thank you, Guillaume, for listening to a couple of people that told you, please make it matte. Now, we have much less on this. There's no stomps. There's no AB. There's no recallability with your foot. Because, you know what? Probably people didn't need that. I would have needed that. Um... There's no clicky. There are only two clickies. Well, these weren't clicky. So technically, we have more 
There's one clicky and two dialies. Here we have two dialies, which are also clickies. This has MIDI. This does not. If you need MIDI functionality, functionality, this is not your baby. Other than that, this has more of everything. Now, the brand new software, which is way cool with two mics and all that stuff, which we'll get into into further videos that this has, can be loaded onto this. So technically, when it comes to sound quality and features software wise, they are identical. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting this because the benefits of this far outweigh things. Now let's look at it. We've looked at it. <laughs> um, two dials, which are also clicky. So that's the whole menu. I do get lost with that a little bit. Which one do I have to click again? Which one is enter? But that's me being stupid and not it being a bad user interface. I love the simplicity. Now on the left side i'm actually going to go to leslie's favorite camera here Boink. we have an input which can be line instrument and amp in which is absolutely essential to understand and we're going to get into it speaker out which there is a big warning and please 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 read that warning every single time there's an in level which is also very important related to the warning Con how do i hold this considering that when you plug an amp in, you only have distortion. You have to go minus 24 dB. There's a tiny USB pluggy, micro USB, and 12 volt DC, 200 milliamps. Uh, um, the mic's over here. The mic is over here. I did not know that. Um, so we have 200 milliamps, which means less power. But interestingly, I don't know if that's said anywhere, but Guillaume said, oh, you can run it on nine. Hallo ha ha, hallo ha ha, Le Guillaume. Nine volt, it runs on your normal power pluggy thing on your pedal board. Nine volt, I've been running this with nine volt only because I can. So yeah, 12 volt, cool. Comes in a beautiful, I mean, beautifully packed, beautiful package. Comes with the, um, it has a, um, it uh, 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 comes with a USB plug and a wall ward power supply with 12 volt. But you can run this on your pedal board off your power brick with nine. Going on the other side, back here. We're gonna cover a lot. The, yes, the oh so desirable XLR is here. With the ground lift, line out, which I haven't used so far, but you can use that if you want to, um, which probably is, wait a second, amp in, speaker out, if it's on your pedal board. Ooh, wait a second, I'm just realizing something here. Hmm, in. And through. Huh. Now I'm a little bit confused. What if I have this on my pedal board, okay? And I want to have it on my pedal board as the last thing in the chain. But I also want to go to my amp. So it would need a through, which... In, out. Phones. It doesn't have a through. Because if it's a line out, then it's actually carrying the simulated signal. So that it cannot do. I can't go into this on my pedal board, send it to the rest of my gear as if it's not even in the chain, but also grab the simulated signal and send it to front of house. Unless, of course, you have a splitter on your board and one goes to your amp, one goes to this, which isn't a major investment but it does take up space on your board so having this line out to be switchable to line out or through would have been nice probably they i'm sure i'm one billionth percent sure that they thought about all these things in their weight cost versus who needs that and then they were like, yeah, yeah, Henning's going to bitch about it. Le Henning, uh -huh. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna bitch about it. And that's, that's not French. I don't know how to do French. And, and then like, who can fuck him? Fuck Henning. Yeah, fuck Henning. Yeah. That's probably what they were doing. Rightfully so. Oh, so uh, for, we're moving on. This is why these videos take forever. There's headphone out. 
um, which is nice, but with a little plug and aux in, which is great because you can actually use this as a practice station, plug your phone in and jam along with jam tracks. Um, and here, almost invisible, looks like a little flap to put your nail in to pop this out. This is actually a micro SD card slot. How cool is that? And there actually is a 256 meg, meg <laughs> micro SD card in there. That it, and it, it says two notes on it. It's okay, come here. Cute. Um, this is for impulse responses. You could put a, a trillion gigabyte micro SD in there and load all the impulse responses you possibly want. So, you can use this behind pedals. You can use this behind your amp. When you do, this is not a load box. This is not a load box. You have to plug your speaker cable in and then from here to the speaker or a reload or something that takes the load. Okay, so. Um, but that means this thing can actually be not even on your board. It can be in your rig behind your amp. If you have something like the Sky King, for example, you could just put this in your combo. Speaker cable in, thing back to the speaker, XLR. You could have this... You could have this installed in your combo all the time and run a Mission Engineering 529 with a power brick, for example, and then without having to plug it in, because this does 9 volt, this accepts 9 volt, um, have your amp XLR connected with a built-in torpedo. So technically, you could even, if you wanted to, modify your amp, cut, hold it in the back and... And pretty much, you know, torpedo equip any amp if you want to destroy it. So, that being said, we're going to take a look at and sound at sounds. I'm not going to do every sound. I'm not going to do strat and tally and everything. We're just looking at general, you know. Hey, let's do this. Leslie, I'm going to put this on the, on the screen, okay? Wait. Magic! People say I'm stupid. I know why. I get it. I get it. I very much get it. Let's see. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Girl loves me. So, um, the big question is, can I just plug pedals into it? Straight into it without a preamp? Because typically you have a drive pedal, whatever pedal, whatever pedal. And that's going into a preamp in your amplifier, which goes into the power amp in your amplifier, uh, or two separate entities. And that goes into the speaker. Now, what the two notes cab M is, is a speaker simulator, but it also has power amp simulation, which means, where le preamp, where le amp, je ne sais quoi, je ne sais quoi, où l'amp, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of coffee. Um, so we're going to try both. For the test with a, a preamp, I have a Le Preamp. Le Preamp, which is the Le Clean. By the way, the whole fucking Le thing on my channel started because of two notes. So Leslie, uh, show this stuff here. So what I got set up on the table, no effects pedals. I have a drive, the Ecstasy. Mini, I have the Friedman BOD, um, uh, and th now of course everyone, you, you guys from Tunes are going to say, why doesn't he have a rev pedal? Because we love rev, and rev's going to go like, hey, we work with two notes. Why doesn't he have a rev pedal there? Because of that reason, I can't be biased. I can't tell these people that we're really good friends. I can't do that. Um, so here we have a Friedman and an Ecstasy, um, and. The Le Clean, which is the slightly newer version, which apparently has better output. Something. He sent me the new version. Which right now is on the very clean side. This is a less clean side, but I'm using this. That goes into there. And that's pretty much it. And that goes XLR into my Apollo Twin. And we're on preset one, which if I scroll over and then back... 
it scrolls through the whole title and it says amp on, which is very nice that they show that, show that in the presets. Um, S means simulation mode, which means I have access to all parameters. In arcade mode, I have access to less parameters. In IR mode, I can load IRs, but I have less parameters because an IR is a snapshot, including mic and everything. Um, what I can see is in and out levels and a master DB out, which doesn't change with my preset, as you can see. It is quite a bit of level juggling when you skip between presets, so you're constantly fishing for, let me find the right level. Uh, what I'm playing here is my Eastman SB59 in violin antique varnish, because that's an amazing guitar. So, damn it. Here we go. All you're hearing is the clean on the green side and the two notes audio engineering cabin. Why is there reverb, you ask? Because it's built in. Let's go through a couple of sounds without fiddling with the uh, menu. Um, so if I want to change my sound, I'm going to have to fiddle with the preamp. So I'm going to go to the preamp, give it a little bit more, not less, more, uh, I'm going to give it some more high end. Of course, to get more high end, I could also change the cap. Let's see what happens. says amp on which is what I want because I'm not using an amp sound is awesome I <laughs> mean I love that tiny little bit of room. It's it's inspiring. It's fun. I mean, what I'm getting straight out of my tiny little speakers. See these these KSD KS Digitals, right there. They're five inch speakers, and they're amazing. This is all I'm hearing, and I'm like, hello. So I'm gonna turn on the ecstasy. Take that sound and move on. Very different sound. Go careful now with the level. You see, that's what I mean. You have to juggle the levels. Again, it always is with the amp on, which is the only thing that in this video concerns us. And there's too much bass for me. 
none of you will like all of them. I think, and Tuno's not going to like that I say this, I don't think you need to buy anything from them other than what's in there. It's a good collection of caps. It's got the Marshalls. It's got Rev caps. It's got cleans. It's got uh, Rockies and Medleys. Uh, it's got everything you really need. If you load it up, I mean, I own hundreds of cabs from them. Uh, it's option paralysis. At some point, it's just like, dude, make some music. So I like to pick a cab that is almost equally good for cleans and drives, stick with it, and make music. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I know with that, they're not going to sell a shit ton of IRs, but you're going to buy them anyway. <laughs> Yes, built in. Lush and bluesy, let's go to this. Let's gain, we're gonna turn on the Friedman. Yeah, I suck. Good. Um, quick demonstration of what happens if you don't have a preamp connected, a preamp that shapes the signal to begin with. I'm just going to turn it in, turn it in, the look clean off. I'm going to show you with the look clean on here, with the Friedman and quite some gain. And hello, I messed up. Here, number two. <laughs> At the great sound. Now I'm going to turn to Tim. I'm going to turn the look clean off. Doable. So I'm going to go and try to get more volume from the Friedman. So what you can do is you could go in and change the EQ curve to have more of the brightness, but it is a little bit less responsive, it's a little bit less dynamic, it's a little bit less of everything. It is, however, usable if you had to. I don't want to, but I could. The question is, do I want the 12 volt only, big ass look clean on my pedal board? I wish there was a look clean in the size of the Le Carb M. Um, but I've already told them that. So, yeah, you can do it without a preamp. I suggest not to. Um, let me show you with the ecstasy. This is the ecstasy. More volume. <laughs> with the Le Clean. Good. We're moving on. Um, we're going to look at this thing. If I go and t tweak something on the right, it is volume. If I tweak the left, it is preset. Easy. God, that sounds awesome. Again, I've got, got no effects. This is all coming from the... Beautiful chords. So I push the left side. And what I can do there, and I'm going to have to look up there. Uh, sorry for the flickering. There is, uh, this is the best we can possibly do with uh, my cameras. So the mode, which is what it's on. Let me see what it's on right now. Yeah. So 
you select what you want and then with the right thing you change the mode there's simulation arcade and you see it immediately changes in arcade you have different groups i'm going to go to simulation right away so power amp is off or power amp is on that is all you can do from here but if i go you can pretty much turn the different blocks on and off but if i then click i'm right into the power amp which if i do this correctly i can change the parameters what parameter i want yes with this and the value with this so right now i have uh, i can select which tubes i want so we're gonna go to uh, single ended don't ask me what that means colin scott knows colin you please answer these questions single ended 6l6 34 84 88 and 6L, and then PP. Tubes that need to go to the bathroom, 6L6, 34, 84, 88. So it has something to do with 1, 2B, and 2, 2Bs. So we're going to go to 6L6s because they're warm and round. Um, oh, I can do pentode or triode because that makes differences that I don't know. Um, and then volume. Look at this. And depth and presence. Presence is a power amp uh, high end and depth is a power uh, amp low end. Let's demonstrate, I hope. us more but what do i know um okay so then we're on miking which of course you want that on because it's a freaking speaker simulator you want to simulate the mic don't turn that off don't be stupid i'm going to click on that virtual cabinet this is the cabinet that you picked in this case it is called prime a gray arch the rev 12 I, I really recommend the rev caps they are pretty damn, damn awesome um two different rev caps in 212 the british vintage c and a whole bunch of them that we're going to look closer in the uh software because it makes more sense come on that just sounds awesome if i turn the friedman thing on <laughs> Careful with the levels. Okay, we're gonna stay there. That's a little bit for me and not a lot. So I want more. And not the um, so uh, we're gonna go to this and parameter on the right okay we have a ribbon and the nightfall you have le deux microphone finally a fucking year after they promised we have two mics don't promise us things that far in advance guillaume that's not cool ah, okay so le avec le microphone hein? le deux le deux micro ah on va jamais arriver à aller au bout de cette interview there's no way we get to the end of that interview but anyway Freaking nightmares about when is when is the, when is it coming? When, but Guillaume said it's coming, huh? You know. So um, my go-to would be Mike A is a fifty-seven, and Mike B is an eighty-seven. If you don't know what these things mean, learn about uh, guitar miking or just fiddle around till you have something that works. Actually, you don't need to know anything. Fiddle around, find out what you like. So, which means for now. Ah, the second mic is muted. So that means it was only the ribbon, which explains why it was so round. This is muted. We have mute, phase, and volume. Let's see. Ah, there's the bite. <laughs> Now I'm going to check out the second mic. Oh, 
I also have to turn that off. Okay, now together, and I will mix them. Okay, this is fun. Um, next page gives me axis. So I can say, ah. how far is it in the middle? The more it is in the middle, the brighter it will be. Of course, I would like to only listen to that, so I go back to the first page, mute the second mic. You can already see that on the actual hardware, it's fully doable but it'll be a little bit annoying. Okay, now I can determine how far the mic is away from the speaker. The further that is away, the more I hear the room. You can even say whether it's in front or behind uh, the cab. EQ, yeah. Let's quickly go through this. There are three different modes, guitar, bass, and custom, which means they are predetermined frequencies which are good for bass, good for guitar, or you can actually pick the frequency for each band, which gives you a lot of possibilities with a pretty damn simple interface. We're just gonna look at guitar for now. Hundred and twenty, pretty good frequency. Great interface, I really gotta say that. That's the creamy frequency for leads, eight hundred. That's high end. Okay, moving on to reverb, which in a visually makes more sense when you see the app. We have Studio B and only 1%. Well, that's not enough. Now I have to go and actually adjust my level. Again, that's the one thing, I'm sorry, about all the Two Notes products, you constantly, and I'm saying this as annoyed as I can possibly be, I'm sorry guys, you're constantly juggling levels. Input, output, in between put. I'm constantly trying to have as much input as I possibly can uh, uh, and not distort on the uh, out end. Moving into the reverb again. There. So, Studio A. Little bit of slap back there and the loft is bigger. like Studio B. 
to get a you know realistic kind of studio sound uh and then the mix actually a little bit more also depends mix is one thing but where are your mics is uh also a thing What I love is you can get a result right on the box. Learning the menu takes about five minutes. Figuring out what the two knobs does takes about a week. No. <laughs> um, uh, preset level, of course, you could make sure all your presets are across the board kind of equal. Um, and that's it as far as that goes. Then there's save it. And then there's the global. Where's your aux input? How loud is your phone? Pretty much. Um, enter mute or unmute. Ah, I can, I can unmute. I can mute the pedal. That's good. Um, oh wait. Um, then we have audio, more audio performance or impulse response length can be. I keep it there. Um, memory card browser. I can go to the memory card, of course. Um, here is your Bluetooth pin code, which is important to know where that is when you want to hook up your iPad. The brightness of the display, screensaver on or off, so the display will go into saying, Hello, Dolly, at some point. So I turned that off, of course. Um, remote monitor, I don't know what that means. And here's my firmware and my serial number, which you can't do anything with. Um... Yeah, that's 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 it. That's the cab M, um, by itself. It's pretty, pretty damn impressive. Make it big again, Leslie. You know the button. Come on. Thank you. That's actually smaller, but with more of the pedal. Um, just by itself, without buying any impulse responses, without ever loading up the software, you can do almost everything you want to do relatively quickly. This thing can be your pedal board thing. Again, I would recommend having a preamp in front of it. You can possibly, you can possibly, possibly, yeah, that's a word. You can possibly uh, get away with no preamp, but then fiddling with the EQ, but that's all, always a compromise. I feel that not having an amp, one of these things back there, and having a Le Clean or some, some decent preamp with a with drives in your pedal board, it doesn't get you an amp sound, but it gets you about 90% there, 85. It's most certainly a, if you ask me, more desirable sound than any Helix and crap like that. Um, it's just, it's the real deal shit. So, frankly, if you ask me, if this is the only video you're watching, if this is all you wanted to know, if you have a pedal board, the cab amp should be on it, under it, with it, in your in your uh, gig bag in case any el anything else fails. I think for two ninety nine, which is how much this thing is, this should be a tool every guitar player and bass player has. I think it's a ma the the original cab I used in many situations and I liked it, but it always came with. Drawbacks. The size, the 12 volt, um, uh, dialing things in wasn't that easy. You had one mic. The two mic thing is amazing. It really, you can, di it helps you dial in the sound perfectly. If you're a guitar player and you gig or you record at home and you use pedals, have a cab M. Didn't say that about the previous one. I'm not saying this because I like the guys from Two Notes. This is the tool. We should all tool, tool around with, tularemia. I don't know. That's the thing. Next video, we look at the software. And uh, thanks for switching, Leslie. This was very interesting for you, I know. Uh, links below. Please, please, please. It helps me out a lot. Follow me on Instagram. End card. Check that out. And Facebook, because for some reason, companies look at that. Um, and uh, animals at the end.